Hello, it's Thursday the 19th. I'm FX Blue and this is the Market Brief. Uh, so William Haig has been on. Um, he blamed the British vault failure on Brexit. He claimed that there would have been more investment and more subsidiaries available from Brussels if the UK was still in the EU. Meanwhile, Labour has gone full negative Nelly over this one. Uh, they've called it a disaster for the UK automotive sector, fearing the writing is on the wall for UK car manufacturing. I mean, fair enough to raise some concerns when 750,000 people are employed in a sector, uh, a sector that is calling time on petrol and diesel from 2030. The future will certainly need battery production, but since British Vault ran out of money, there has already been interest from Tata Motors and from the VC backers of British Vault in taking on the project. So it's not all lost just yet. Do you think inflation data will help bring an end to the strike action? Now inflation appears to have topped out, the pay deals rejected due to the real, uh, the real term wage erosion are marginally better. Average earnings increased by 6.4%, so with inflation down to 10.5%, that's only a 4.1% real term pay cut. Bargain. But inflation is going in the right direction now. The Bank of England will of course continue to vote for rate hikes and inflation is expected to drop faster now that rates are in more restrictive territory. Meanwhile, any significant public sector wage increase will add fresh inflationary pressure. Don't get me wrong, I'm not saying that a better pay deal is not deserved, but it is certainly a fine balance to strike. Uh, US retail sales for December surprised to the downside when the Christmas bounce didn't quite materialise. Instead, retail sales fell by 1.1% and this has rather rekindled fear of a, of a US recession. Some Fed members have already reacted by suggesting a 25 basis point rate hike is the right reaction, but market sentiment is still pointing to a 50 basis point hike at their next meeting. Uh, in the market, the dollar index sold off to about 101.50 before recovering to close around 102.40, but this helped sterling higher against the dollar. Uh, we topped out at around 122.90 yesterday, and we're trading even higher this morning. Uh, we're around 123.20 against the dollar. Uh, we're about 114.20 against the euro, and euro dollar is around 107.85 on the open. Right, that's it from me. Have a great day. If you do not have a clue, then just tweet through and ask FX Blue.